Many times, data in a table has a non-linear pattern. It would still be nice to be able to generalize the pattern with an equation. In some cases, that pattern may be modeled by a quadratic equation. In this lesson, you will learn how to write a quadratic equation by finding a pattern in a table. Recall that when you find the pattern reveals a constant change in y compared to one unit change in x, the data can be modeled with a linear equation. Here we see that each unit change of 1 in x leads to 2 units in y, giving us a slope of 2. Once you have found the slope, or rate of change, you can use a point from the table and the slope-intercept form of the equation to solve for the y-intercept and write the equation. Here we have chosen to use the point 5, 7 to solve for b, which equals negative 3, and then written the equation. One of the methods of solving a pair of equations is elimination, which we'll review here. We start with the equations 3x plus 2y equals 16, and x plus 4y equals 12. If there is a unique solution, it will be the only x-y pair that is true in both equations. In order to use elimination, we want to scale one of the equations up or down, so that either the x or y coefficients are the same in both equations. Here, I have multiplied the second equation by 3. Subtracting the second equation from the first eliminates the x terms, allowing me to solve the one-step multiplication equation for y. Now that we know the value of y, we can substitute it for y in either equation. Using the second equation, this leads to x plus 8 equals 12. Solving that one step addition equation gives the value of x as 4. Now we have the unique solution for 2 for the pair of equations. Before we begin the lesson, you need to recall that the general form of a quadratic function or equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. One potential misunderstanding is looking only at two pairs of points and finding a linear pattern between those two points without looking at the entire table. The equation, y equals 6x plus 4, would be satisfied by the first two points in the table, but not by the others. Remember that if the change in the y values is constant compared to the change in x values, then the function is linear. Here we can see that the change is not constant. Because of the symmetric nature of quadratic equations, if the difference in the y differences is constant, then the pattern indicates we have a quadratic equation. Just as in linear equations, the initial value or y-intercept is the y value when x equals 0, this thus our constant must be c. Prove this fact yourself by substituting 0 for x in the general quadratic equation. Also note that the y value of 4 shows up later in the table as well. This is due to the symmetric nature of quadratic equations. In linear equations, once we had found the slope or m value, we had just the constant for which to solve. With quadratics, we have found the constant c, but still need to find the a and b values. Since you need to find two unknowns, set up a linear pair of equations using two pairs of points. The points you choose do not matter. In the left-hand equation, I have chosen to substitute the point 110. And in the right-hand equation, I have substituted the point 310 and simplified. Now we solve for A and B using either substitution or elimination. I'm going to scale up the left-hand equation by negative 3 I chose the left-hand equation because the coefficients of a and b were both 1, which made the multiplication easier. As long as I end up with the same or opposite coefficients for a or b, I can scale either equation. Solving for a, I get a equals negative 2. By substituting negative 2 into the equation 6 equals a plus b, and solving, 
I get 8 equals B. Now that we have solved for A, B, and C, we simply write the quadratic equation by replacing A with negative 2, B with 8, and C with 4. One possible misunderstanding is misusing the second difference. Unlike linear equations where the constant change is the slope, the second difference of negative 4 is not used as part of the equation. In this lesson, you learned how to write quadratic equations by finding the pattern in a table. So I actually want to make, sorry, this is Miss Williams now. I want to make a quick comment to this part right here. So because the other video actually gives you a shortcut for solving for A. So if you take this second difference, which we know is negative 4, negative 4, negative 4. The pattern is to get your A value here, if you take negative 4 and divide that by 2. So you just have to memorize it. It's just a pattern that occurs for creating the equation. So the second difference, which is negative 4, if you divide it by 2, which would give you a negative 2 for A, you would get your original answer. Which, going back to see what they got, A is equal to negative 2. So if you take your second difference and get negative 4, you can divide that by 2 to get your A value.